You're kind of making bets on the future. Uh, maybe you consider yourself a, a futurist or something like that. What are some of the developments, product trends that you believe will define the next 10 years? I right, so 10 years is a, is an interestingly long, but also short time horizon. It's kind of fascinating in, in that way. It's like, we'll see a, a complete company cycle, maybe two macroeconomic cycles. Interestingly, um, the, what I think is at play right now in the world is the world's obviously smaller. The internet is, is a thing. Um, the geopolitical environment is, let's just call it unstable to be yeah. like, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in the world. We don't really know what's going to happen. Um, everything's getting more sophisticated, faster, more complex, faster information flow, faster. So, you know, trends that I see happening over the next 10 years are an increased uh, awareness and investment in things like compliance and security. Um, I think that, you know, if, if companies don't have chief, um, compliance officers now, they likely will in the future. I think, um, a lot of companies are understanding that, uh, selling is about adoption first and selling second. Someone's going to reach for you first and then they're going to find a value prop and then they're going to want to give you money if they're finding utility out of you. And, yeah. you know, in, in classic, um, VC terms, you call that bottom up to tops down selling motions, but like what it is, it's just an adoption curve. It's, it's a type of adoption. Um, and, uh, yep. and I think uh, outside of that too, then there's, there's a lot, a, interestingly, a lot more emphasis on investing in hardware again, um, and America hmm. in particular owning its hardware manufacturing, which I think is obviously good. Uh, and then I think it's interesting when you see the geopolitical environment of how we might have to invest in, in more sophisticated tooling for national security type things. But more than that, it's like understanding that we are no longer a single, you know, micro geo unit called the United States. At GitHub, you're a global platform. You have, you're regulated in many different ways, or you're attacked from people around the world in many different ways. And it's not just Palo Alto or San Francisco, let, let alone California anymore.